I think one thing that a lot of fans have to give credit for John and Dave is how they really do dedicate their lives to turning Star Wars around in a better direction and really taking a lot of key aspects from Star Wars Legends from of course Heir to the Empire, the Dark Empire trilogy, as well as other aspects like Shadows of the Empire and how that's going to play a large role in shows like Ahsoka, Mando 4, the Mandalorian extension that's going to be called, of course, Star Wars Mandalore, and a whole lot more. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new, and like this video if you guys would like to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about John, George, and Dave... Given that they are all working together as a trio, all together as a team, to really bring Star Wars to its height, and to really bring it to the best status as much as possible, they really are trying their absolute best to also satisfying the fans and regaining the lost fans. Yes, the ones that walked away after the sequel trilogy pretty much came to a close, and also the fans that walked away after Gina Carano got fired back in February of 2021. Now that brings us to the next big thing, exactly what Favreau and Filoni are up to when it comes to the Star Wars films, Star Wars coming back to the cinemas, and a lot of this has to do with Bob Iger's plan. We already know that Iger wants to bring Star Wars back to the theaters again, and how he wants to only make Star Wars shows as a supplement and not the main part of the franchise, of course. Now. That brings us to, of course, what Favreau was able to tease to the fans, specifically about the future of the franchise, where it's all going, and how a lot of it has to do with Star Wars films coming our way once again. So anyways, moving on, of course, given that both Favreau and Filoni are preparing to make some big announcements for fans, both Favreau and Filoni have been making some pretty big teases of the future of Star Wars. Now recently Favreau was able to make a big announcement for Luke Skywalker's future in the Mandalorian era of the franchise and even more about Grogu. Favreau went on to state the following to the fans by teasing plans for a new Star Wars movie. Favreau stated the following, Well, what we have been discussing with Disney and those over at Lucasfilm is how we can bring The Mandalorian into the cinemas and create a theatrical movie and focus on Mandalorian characters including Luke Skywalker and Grogu. This is something that we are talking about every single day with Bob Iger and others that we are just so excited for what the future holds. Originally, I had wanted to create a Mandalorian-era film, but was told it was too early to do that back in 2021. Now, I want to just stop here quick before we get to the next thing that Favreau talks about. Now, this is all alluding to what we have been talking about, of how there is a Mandalorian trilogy in the early development phase already. Basically, this is Disney's Hail Mary. This is Disney's last-ditch effort to basically kind of redo the sequel trilogy era, in a sense. Not that they're going to erase 7, 8, and 9 from canon per se, but they want to treat this Mandalorian trilogy as the new sequels, so to speak. Like the true sequel trilogy that fans can focus on more so. That's basically how they want to center it in the timeline. So, basically, what they are doing, have been doing behind the scenes, is using the Mandoverse as a big setup for the Mandoverse coming to the theaters. Coming to, of course, the fans to watch on the big screen. And you know what? I think it's getting there because ILM is upping their technology where it can be cinema worthy. You know, they're really kind of raising the bar when it comes to all these deep fakes and these de-aging technologies and how that's going to be able to use pretty much as an avenue for creating the ultimate realistic version of Luke. And John Favreau actually talked about this about three weeks ago, that they are working on making a very ultra-realistic version of Luke that's going to have zero flaws. And you know what? That really does just go to show you that ILM is really something else. I mean, the people at that company really do revolutionary things for the film industry. So that brings us to the next big thing. We already know that this Mandalorian trilogy has been in early development for almost a year now. We've been talking about this for quite a while. 
And now Favreau coming out and teasing about a Mandalorian-centered movie. This most likely is alluding to just that. Now, obviously, a lot of fans are very excited for what's going to come out of Ahsoka and Mando Season 3, as well as Season 4, and how that's all going to be used as a setup to the next phase of Star Wars TV shows, right? So moving on, Favreau goes on the state, we have a pretty solid plan right now of how this is going to work across multiple Star Wars films, focusing on the Mando era, and how we can consider it a continuation of the Skywalker saga as well. We want to bring Ahsoka, Grogu, Luke, and even Legends characters to the big screen, and this is a legacy I want to leave behind for myself and for the wonderful fans who have supported us throughout the past couple of years. So there you have it once again. I want to just, you know, discuss something real quick before I get to the next segment, is that Favreau really putting it out there that he wants to leave a legacy behind, not just for himself, but also for the fans to look back at the franchise in a specific, special way. Now, obviously, we do look back at Mando Season 2 in a special way where Luke comes into the entrance, as well as Ahsoka for the first time in live action. That's why I think Mando Season 2 is so iconic. It did all of these great things that we have never seen before. Think about it. We've never seen Luke Skywalker in live action performing such stunts, taking down those dark troopers, force choking or force crushing that dark trooper, utilizing all these different force abilities. It really was quite a great time. Now, the thing about what Jon Favreau said for Mando 3 is that the surprises that you saw in Season 2, it's not even going to match the surprises that you, will, uh, that you are about to see in Season 3, basically. Pretty much telling us, the fans, that we can expect a lot of cameos and a lot of revelations in the third season. We already know that Luke is going to be a big influence in Mando Season 4, and Mark Hamill has actually been signed on to take a big part in Mando 4. By the way, they do plan on begin, be, beginning filming for Mando 4 sometime by this summer. They want to get that start, you know, started rolling right around there. Give or take January, or should I say, <laughs> July or August. As of now in January, they're still working on the script. Now, the thing about Mando 4 is that it's not just going to be about Din Djarin and Grogu. But the thing about a Mandoverse movie, and how this is a setup to that sequel trilogy that we have been talking about, new sequel trilogy films, and how it's going to be heavily modeled after Heir to the Empire, and Shadows of the Empire, and more. Essentially, we're going to have a lot of influence on characters from Thrawn, Prince Shizor, and stuff like that. You know, we're going to get a lot of legend stuff, and I think that's what fans are looking forward to the most. So anyways, guys, I'm very much interested in what each and every one of you guys out there have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.